All right, so here we go, guys. 2.4 is just out. I've downloaded it, uh, dropped it into my NPC Touch. It was a free upgrade. It's running 2.4 just now. So I'm just going to go and have a quick look at it because I haven't tested anything. I just want to see uh, the new features, uh, just have a quick look over it. So obviously, the first thing that we have are the effects now. We have some cool graphics as well, not just new effects from air, from air music, but actually real, real good uh, uh, graphics as well to come with it. So, you know, there we go. Now we have beautiful graphics on the NPC. This helps a lot instead of just using those red stripes that we had. Obviously, it comes with presets as well, which will help a lot to find something that we love and then just tweak the parameters. So these are really good. All these uh, presets that come with with the effects. So and we have plenty of effects, air music technology, all these effects were part of Pro Tools. We have plenty of stuff here. Uh, obviously, side chaining is now available, we can start using side chain. Uh, so we have delays, distortion, enhancers, ensembles, filters, flangers, fuzz, kill EQs, lo-fi air, maximizers, cool stuff for uh, for um, mastering, possibly we'll, we'll have now way better tools for, to master our sounds. So it's getting better and better to have an NPC, you know. These guys are putting a lot of stuff out there. Uh, reverbs, I'll try all these, I'll make a video trying all of these or just a video with the ones I prefer the most. So that's it. It comes with 16 classic effects by Air Music and then 12 all new effects by Air Music. So we have 28 new effects on the NPC total. So, and these are the ones that we can now see right here. Stereo width, that's pretty cool. Let's have a look at that. We have some width delay as well. I'm gonna go through all these later on. So we do have a, uh, a side chain, so that's one of the big things as well of the 2.4. These are the old effects that we are used to using, which will not be used so much now. Uh, let's see if I can find the side chain. And so we have the mother ducker input, so that's the side chain. Uh, compressor so that's the input so you'll put this on the on the signal that you want to send to then duck the other audio at the other end so this will be the input right for the kick we can choose a bus so it goes up to eight buses uh, and that's it so this is for the input this is for the audio signal that you want to send that's then gonna compress is gonna duck the other signal which is going to receive the other mother ducker this one and this one then you have some options to uh you know uh to mold how you want your your audio to be ducked in this case right so how it wants to be side chained so you have the ratio knees i'm going to get through all these parameters and see how it sounds Obviously, then you can choose the bus that you want to receive. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. You have some, uh, there's no, uh, there are no presets on this, but you can create your presets and record them on the NPC. So this is pretty cool. And Mother Ducker, this is, if this is the one that Retronym is using on the, uh, on the iPad, I really love it. They have a really good boost. I really like that. That's Mother Ducker on the uh, on the iPad. So we've we've seen the sixteen. Uh, we've seen all the new. We've seen all the new effects. Then we have the side chain. We've we saw that as well. Obviously, we get the graphics. Graphics will look amazing. Um, 
improvement to the clip programs for simultaneous playback. Now, I'm not sure what that is. I haven't read specifically what these things are. I'm just going to try them out. So I'm going to create a clip program right here. I'm just going to load in some drums. I've got some boom bap right here. So I'm on a clip program. I'm just going to play it out. And I'll try changing a track to see if it stops. I'm thinking that that's maybe what it is. The simultane simultaneous playback. I don't know. It probably should be that. No, it stops. So, oh, wait. I know what I did. Sorry, I was testing this. So I need to put this to one. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. So yes, finally, now we have this function. Great update. In my view, this is one of the best things. Obviously, side chaining will be a, a super fun tool to use. But having this feature now that you can trigger several clips at the same time and change in between tracks, this is a super enhancement for workflow, for live performance. This is a great thing. So I'll just try and go to a, a drum program here. Uh, maybe I'll load up, uh, see if I find something here. Okay, this might have a drum program here. Okay, so let me just choose it. Okay, I'm going to go to track number two, which has the clip program. I'm going to play it. Then I'm going to jump to track number three, which has a drum program. And I'm going to play some sounds on the drum program and see if the clip program still continues on playing. So let's hear it. So yeah, it keeps on playing. That's really cool. That's it. So you, you can now go to a different track, go to a plugin track, go to a key group, go to a CV track, whatever, and you'll have your clip program playing and playing. It won't stop. So that's amazing. Thank you, Kai, for that. That's a great tool. So we have now next sequence recalls changes when leaving the mode. So it means that next sequence will remember that you want to jump to the next sequence when you just, you know, you turn the data wheel or you go or you go to the next sequence and you choose the next sequence that you want to jump to and you go to a different part of the MPC. The next sequence will remember that you want to jump to the next sequence. That that was something that I did. I did uh, find myself sometimes uh, wanting to do and the MPC wouldn't allow you to do that. So I would have to actually wait for it to jump to the next sequence so I could go in inside the drum program to, to maybe tweak some parameters. So this is a cool function. It helps out a lot for live situations. Uh, it means that now I can just be uh, playing this and then go into the next sequence and go inside drum programs or inside another plugin and change some parameters. So this is an enhancement for live performance. Uh, let's do this. Next sequence. Oh yeah, so yeah, it did go to the next sequence. So that's that's really useful. That's a good one as well. So see, these small things to me, this is what makes the machine great. You know, sometimes you don't need to have like a, a, a massive update with a bunch of stuff like, you know, uh, you have sidechain, this and that, that sidechain is great. But what I mean, like small things like this that help you workflow, help you trigger different ideas, help you navigate easier, or, you know, in this case helps, helps you to get a better life performance out of the machine. These small things to me, it's what I'm after in updates, small things like this. This is a great thing for me. The other thing with the clip programs where you can go to the next sequence, to, sorry, to another track 
that's another thing that's great for me inside the NPC. Uh, so yeah, next sequence. So hold shift and stop. Now recess playhead to the sequence start. This is very helpful. Now you might say that, why do you need that? You can just press the play start and it will jump to the beginning. That's true, but imagine that you are, your start point is number three. And, uh, and now you want to listen to the beginning of the sequence. So if I, if I, if my, if my start here is on number three, and I press play start, it starts on number three. And there's no way for me to now get back at the beginning of the sequence. You would have to go to zero, or you would have to use locate. But this is like, it's quicker to do it this way now. Imagine that now you're, you're here, you can now just press shift stop, and now boom, you're back at the beginning, right? So that's pretty cool. Instead of going in, having to come here, dial it back to the beginning. Imagine if I was on uh, bar number 23, if I was working on, a, if I have a sequence that has 64 bars and I'm working a full song inside of a sequence, uh, and if I was working on uh, bar number 60, it would be very painful and tiresome to every time that you want to come back to the beginning of the sequence, you'd have to come here and press number one to the locate function of it at the beginning of the song. So it just cuts out a few steps and it's really helpful. Now you can just press shift stop and the play hat will go to the beginning of the sequence. So another, this again, this is what I'm saying, like small things like this, really help the workflow. So it makes me want to create a whole song inside of a sequence now because I have this function. It helps out a lot. Again, Akai, small things like this, it's what it is. For, at least for me, small things like this really help the workflow. And if you can, just drop an arpeggiator for the drum tracks as well. Please don't just, don't leave the drum tracks out of an arpeggiator because you can do really crazy stuff by just using an arpeggiator on the drum tracks. Okay, so now we can also use FLAC and OGG files, loading and exporting. Okay, cool. The Air Hybrid, Loom, the Riser, Vacuum. Obviously, you need to be connected to the computer for these uh, plugins, but now you can actually see them on the MPC as with, with, a new, with new visuals, with new graphics. Okay, so same thing with the as the as the effects. Now we have some really nice cute effects. Uh here we go. Yeah, I have hybrid on, so I'll just go to the program and now I can actually see hybrid. For standalone mode, you guys won't have the new hype from what I can see. It isn't here on the touch, it isn't on the on this on the stand, it isn't on the controller mode on the software. It might be for live users, maybe you guys will get this. I'm fine with it, I don't really care too much. Um, but yeah, it is, it's not here, the hype is not here. Okay, so the riser as well, let's see how that looks. Okay, let's go program. Now, yeah, looks really cool. But anyway, yeah, we got new graphics. We've got new graphics for the Hybrid, Loom, the Riser, Vacuum Pro, Velvet, and Expand. So we have new graphics for those plugins if you're using your machine in controller mode. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, bug fixes and stability. So that's it. This is what came out. Keep an eye out. I'm going to make a new video on the, uh, on the effects as well. Enjoy this. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.